Hi, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this uh, mysterious DI 84 watt power consumption, which happens 24-7, um, um, regardless of what I do when I switch on the microinverter input on the generator port. So I'll measure the current clamp, right? This is coming from the battery, and look at this, right? It's 1.15. Amps there, and I've actually uh, verified that with another current clamp um, at a current voltage of a current voltage. Get it? I'm here all week. Um, a current voltage of 53.6 volts there. That doesn't equal the 84 watts. And let me show you. Okay, what I've done is I've actually isolated the inverter. It's nighttime here, obviously. Um, this, so I've isolated uh, the AC side, which is that one there. Okay, and I've also isolated the um, the new micro inverter, which is that one there. So I switch both those off. So the DI inverter is being powered just from the battery. There's no other source, and um, and you can see it's showing off uh, grid there, and it's uh, still showing five watts, four watts from the uh, micro inverter on the gen port, but that's just a residual error. There's nothing doing there, but it's still reporting the 84 watts. So there's nowhere else for the current to go. Like that, that 84, I reckon's gotta be some sort of furphy. And it makes no difference if I switch the microinverter off. So it's not the Hoy Miles uh, microinverter consuming uh, 84 watts uh, quiescent standby at night. It's not that. It's happening, if it is real, it's happening inside the DI, because it's not going back out to the grid. It's got absolutely nowhere to go. So, um, yeah. I can only presume that this thing is taking, well, 65 watts or thereabouts. So I don't know where the 84 is coming from. It makes no sense whatsoever. I don't get it. So I, I think it's some sort of furphy. Mm. All right. Thoughts and comments down below. Now I'll switch the AC uh, grid side back on. I don't think it's connected yet, but it, it takes like a minute to reconnect. But all of that power is still coming from the battery. So I'm going to wait for that grid to reconnect and see if that actually, if the residual, there it goes, it dropped. So the grid is reconnected. There you go. That's what I thought would happen, okay? Because I had the uh, grid uh, isolated. So the DI microinverter is completely isolated from all, from other power sources, um, except for the battery. And when that happens, it drew about, you know, 1.15 amps-ish uh, there. So, which, which is around about that battery voltage, is around about uh, 60 odd watts. So it's definitely not the 84, and it's definitely not on the generator port, because I've got nothing on the generator port. I disconnected the Hoy Miles microinverter. So now, obviously, most of the power for the DI box is coming from uh, the grid side now. Um, so because the grid side is reconnected now, but now, so now there's only a little piddly bit coming from the battery. I don't know. That's just a, you know to power some internal circuitry in there. So that's not much, right? That's bugger all in terms of watts. Um, just to you know power the input circuitry, whatever that is, in the uh, DI for the battery there. So it's just some residual stuff there. So that's interesting, huh? And this is real-time updating, okay? During none of this has any of that 84 watts change. Whether or not I connect the Hoy Miles in a microinverter to the gen port, or I don't, whether I disconnect or disconnect uh, the grid, the only thing left to do is to actually physically switch it off, um, change the work mode, and see what happens. Uh, actually switch it off back to, like, not a microinverter thing. And that should drop to zero then. So if I change that auxiliary input, the microinverter, okay, I'm going to uh, convert it back to generator input like this. And if I save that, if we go back out there and we go right down to the bottom, I think we might find generator power zero. So it's now dropped back to zero. So it's, I reckon there's something really, really sus going on there. And it, oh, yep, yep, there it is. It just dropped right back to, well, it will, I think. <laughs> Drop back to, should drop back to zero. It shows zero on the other page. I'm not for sure why the scale hasn't moved there. Ah, oh, one. I've got one one minute update. Let me try and refresh that. Yet yeah, zero. There you go. After a refresh. So there you go. When you switch it to generate micro inverter input, there's a mysterious 84 watts there. I've got no idea.
Um, no, I have asked DI, but they haven't uh, really responded yet. So yeah, um, I, I think it's a furphy. I don't think there's actually like 84 watts actually going anywhere. I think there's just, you know, 60 odd watts for the actual DI, uh, you know, thing itself. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Seems a bit high, but you know, at least it's something. But yeah, it's definitely not the uh, micro inverter or something else. So I, well, I don't know. It might chew extra power because it's got to switch on the micro inverter output to keep on the gen port to keep it going. But I don't know. I don't get it. Um, yeah, it's weird. Ugh, another DI quirk.